Welcome back. Joining us in studio, we have Mr. Barry Osley. Thank you so much for being here with us today. It's a pleasure again. All right. And so you guys are doing something really cool. You yeah. guys are starting a festival series yeah, so, or a uh, legacy series. Festivals like Idea Creole have been uh, musing about uh, doing some ongoing programming throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And we've never figured out exactly, you know, exactly what we wanted to do. And then uh, Ravi Tagula, uh, who had just obtained the feed and seed and put it back into shape, got in touch with us. He's a big fan of the festival. Yeah. He got in touch with us and said, uh, hey, uh, if you want to do some programming, uh, I'll, you can use the feed and seed once a month. Oh, OK. <laughs> so <laughs> we decided on the first Thursday of, of every month to be predictable. And I thought, OK, well, what do we do? And I started thinking about it and uh, came up with this idea to do a legacy series. It's a series of. Um, many concerts mm -hmm. and, and workshops, discussions with uh, members of the young, the contemporary generation of musicians to discuss what we inherited from the icons of the yeah. past and, uh, and how those, not, not just focusing on the past, but uh, how that influence that we inherited continues to inform contemporary Cajun music in Zydeco today. Uh, and so it's going to be it's going to include discussions uh, and information about about legendary mm -hmm. uh, musicians, but also it's going to include younger musicians who um, who will show, demonstrate, yeah. play uh, how this stuff continues to matter. Now, when I was offered this opportunity, uh, we said once a month. My programming uh, partner, Pat Mould, at the festival said, oh man, once a month, that's a lot of programming. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be able to have enough material. And so I called him the next morning and said, I have 65 shows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is interesting. That's it's great a, though. It is. And what it's telling, it's, it's a telling thing because it, it means that the contemporary uh, generation of, of Cajun and Creole and, and Zydeco musicians, and, and all of us really, are benefiting didn't maybe ever think about it, but we're mm -hmm. benefiting from all of that richness, that yeah. deep, rich influence that we've we've uh, preserved and continues to matter. It's yeah. it's producing what we're hearing today, and it's influencing what we're going to hear tomorrow. Yeah, it's definitely so important <coughs> for our culture here in Acadia. And the first one we're talking is tomorrow. Yes, the July seventh, and uh, from seven to nine at the Feed and Seat downtown. Uh, no admission. Uh, and we hope that people will come out and, and, and explore with us. The first one we're doing is on Dewey Balfa. Oh, nice. Who uh, was one of the first uh, musicians to go outside of this community, played in Newport at the Newport Folk Festival in oh, 1964. Cool. And I happened to have a live recording of that performance from 1964. So that, that, That's uh, gonna just be to give you an idea yeah. of, of what we're trying to do, we're trying to put these people in context, let people know who they are and let them hear that and then and then talk to uh, Steve Riley and David Greeley and, and Christine, his daughter, are going to be there to show how they're still doing it. I love this. This is such a great idea. Thank you so much, well, Barry, for coming on to share pleasure. this with our viewers. Y'all come. Yes, at the Feed and Seed tomorrow. We're going to post all the details on our website, klaf.com. Let's check in with Adam Olivier.